When we're looking at an easeful body, we're making a distinction between physical exercise or continuous rhythmic movement and easeful body, which is flowing movements with awareness. The examples of this would be like Tai Chi, uh, Qigong, uh, massage, uh, yoga. These movements are not necessarily taking us always into our target heart rate zone or working us aerobically, but they're more flowing movements with concentration, a meditative awareness that lengthens the body, improves lymph flow, and allows us to cultivate this mind-body harmony and dynamic. It's very, very important to make this distinction between physical exercise and easeful body, and to take time out to cultivate an easeful body. Things to be aware of when pursuing or deciding upon an easeful body routine are, it should be something that you feel is appropriate for your environment and your physical body and your mental state. Everybody isn't designed to choose a technique like Tai Chi. It may not work for you, but a massage may be great. It doesn't matter which one of the easeful body modalities that you decide to commit to. What is important is that you make a commitment to doing it and you don't think that just because you run for a half an hour, six days a week, that you're cultivating an useful body. Perhaps it's just the opposite, that your running would benefit from the fact that you had regular massage to lengthen, stretch, and allow this mind-body awareness to be cultivated through awareness, through movement, and being a person who is somewhat sport-oriented or physical exercise-oriented may preclude you to even thinking about an useful body, which can tend to be a slower, more concentrated, more meditative approach to movement. And the fact that you're not putting that as part of your routine now is making it even more important that you make it a priority. So think about which one of those modalities or another one that might be available in your area that's accessible for you and most importantly, that you're going to enjoy doing and commit yourself to it. An easeful body will help you enhance the peace of your mind, which will lead to a more useful and a more joyful life. So whether it's going to a spa and doing massage, whether it's taking a class and learning Qigong, or whether it's making a commitment to an individual yoga practice, the most important thing is that you can do it regularly and that you enjoy doing it. Cultivate an easeful body, and the benefits will flow throughout your entire life.